so just for fun uh, we need to get an image that we can use but before then we need to create a space up here so we can come to this container and uh, we are going to do margin top we can give it five um, refresh gives us a nice space let's compare the distance very nice then we need to put top courses in business all right so just to make the world a balanced place to live so here I'm going to do a h3 top courses in business courses so basically um let's try and see what what it, what it looks cool then we can use a display to make it better so we relate we reload um it's too black we can let's try a display a display class bootstrap has display classes that i showed you earlier so we can do class display let's do display four i don't know how four will look like display four. Oh, it's too big so we'll try and do a five and see what five will look like uh there is no five let's do a three see whether it will be bigger or smaller it's bigger um let's go back to typography and i don't want to um just do it behind you let's go back to typography i like that um that i show how i solve most of my problems with bootstrap so that you can learn how to find yours we're looking for something something light uh, this is too much it looks like lead is what we're looking for class of lead and you scroll through to you find what you're looking for once you know the general name or title of what you're looking for you can find them so i think we're going to try a class of lead lead Uh, makes a little more sense uh, yeah I think makes a little more sense top courses in business top courses in yeah I have to manage this so I got something very close to it very close look at top courses in business if you compare it to this it's very close and um, remember that the, the key the key um, guide you should have at the back of your mind when you're learning bootstrap is to make sure that you don't as much as possible avoid using css your own css as much as possible that's the purpose of bootstrap to prevent you from using your own css you understand we'll get to a point where we'll learn theming how to use our own css but just know that every time you have to you feel the, the urge to write your own css code that is a, a sign that you should go and study more the bootstrap documentation to know whether there's something that already does that so if we go to bootstrap documentation we have this you see we have this um, h3 that pulls up with this nice text that is still under typography if you go under typography and you come to customize headings so let's try this and see whether it it's it, it produces something very close to what we have here um, like now i change this to text muted let's do a h3 oops why is it that every time i copy I get tricked by my browser. My browser doesn't copy Ctrl C. Then we're good. Paste. So let me copy this. Top courses in business. Then we delete this. Let's see if it works. yeah i think this is best all right this is the best so far now what we're going to do is to try and get an image let's look at the kind of images they have here they have image of course so let's look at an image um go to google of course remember how we used to do it go to google and search for image google 
Google, I think it's from here. So Google, search for an image, and uh, what are we going to call it? Course, Creative Commons course. Creative Commons course. Yeah, course. And how how big is the image? Remember how we used to sniff images? We have to sniff this image. For instance, this one right where I click inspect element so that we can find how big it is. Inspect element it has shown up here. So I'm just trying to find out the image is SRC. This image, if you double click, you can copy it. It is 240 by 135. That is the size 240 by 135. So if we're anywhere on Google and um, inside Google we search for 240 X135. That's the size of image we're looking for. So click enter. Alright, um thank you this woman for making such a image, Amazon Kindle. I don't know who this woman is, but as long as this Udemy no. We're looking for this is Udemy. No, we're looking for something under Creative Commons. I wonder why Google is showing me Udemy images. Um, I'll have to pause this. So finally, I gave up and just searched for Creative Commons course, and I've seen something like this. Even though it's way bigger, I think um, it's way bigger. We're just gonna find just a random short image. Five point six. Look at what I'm looking at. So I so I finally found this dude. I'm gonna save it. Then we'll continue in the next video. So right click save. Um, this image might be subject to copyright. Um, I will pause and just complete the next video.